Hey guys, welcome to your soulmate reading for Taurus. This is going to be for your October 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We are going to take a look and see how your soulmate journey is going with your soulmate, okay? And then uh, we'll finish off the read um, to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation, switch the roles if you want. Um, what else? Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Um, what else? Uh, if you guys are interested in booking a personal reading with me, the link for that is also in the description box below. All right, so tell me about uh, Taurus. What messages do we have for Taurus? What messages do we have for Taurus when it comes to your soulmate journey for Taurus? Tell me about Taurus. What's going on with Taurus here? Tell me about Taurus and their soulmate journey here for Taurus. So, Taurus, we have the Ten of Pentacles, okay, and the Justice card, okay. So it seems like between you and your person here, Libra energy with the Justice card, Taurus, uh, between you and your person here, I do feel like there's commitment, okay? There is marriage here. There is balance, okay? Uh, yeah, Nine of Pentacles here, and the Three of Pentacles, and the Knight of Wands, and also the Devil card here. Interesting. Oh, yeah. You know, uh, these soulmate readings, I'm not going to lie. I feel like a lot of them have not really been so great, okay? So I feel like for the month of October, a lot of you guys are going through a lot with your partners here. With the Nine of Pentacles, okay? What is happening is I feel like you're turning your back on a commitment here because I feel like you're realizing that you're dealing with someone here who is non-committal, who is very in and out, someone here who's not you know, working together with you as a team to resolve things here. I do feel like this person, like, has attention problems here, too. I do feel like this person has a hard time focusing, all right? And I do feel like this person has a hard time also taking responsibility for their actions here. I do feel like this person has a tendency to deflect here. You know, I do feel like this person has a tendency to blame other people for their problems and their suffering here, all right? What else do we have here for... Um, Taurus, talk about the Ten of Pentacles here. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? The Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? The Ten of Pentacles here and the High Priestess. Cancer Pisces here. The Justice card. The Justice card here. And also the Queen of Swords. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here. You know, I feel like one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like you thought that this person was the one here. Here's the thing, I don't know why I'm getting this here, but I feel like this relationship was very rushed. Yeah, I feel like this re this relationship was very rushed. I feel like there was love bombing here, okay? And I feel like over time, you know, I feel like things started off really, really, really nicely here, and then over time, it started to get worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. Come to find out, you realize that this person was not reliable, you know? Come to find out, you know, you realize that this person, uh, was someone here who's really toxic here. The Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you guys are disengaging from a situation here. Four of Swords, the Three of Pentacles here, and the Hierophant. You're coming to a realization that there is a situation that you're in here that's basically not working out here. So I feel like you guys are completely disengaging, okay? And I feel like you guys are definitely focusing on healing here, focusing on doing what's right for you, okay? Connecting with your higher self here, connecting with the higher power here, for guidance, all right? Tell me the Knight of Wands here. Why is the Knight of Wands here? And also the Ace of Swords. And yeah, I feel like with the Ace of Swords here and the Knight of Wands and the Devil card here, basically you're completely ending something here with a player here, okay? Um, like I said, I feel like this person love-bombed you here, okay? I feel like this connection was rushed. I feel like this person uh, really painted a pretty picture here for you. And I feel like, you know, this person just didn't deliver. Yeah. You know, I feel like this is an individual here that talks of the game here, but I feel like this person just doesn't deliver. 
And I feel like this is like in all areas of this person's life. You know, I feel like this person tends to embellish a lot. You know, I feel like this person tends to, you know, put themselves on a pedestal here. Yeah, what else do we, and I feel like this person talks about themselves a lot. What else do we have for, for Taurus? What else does Taurus need to know, look out for, work on when it comes to the soulmate journey here for Taurus? All right, Taurus, let's see what we have for you guys. And we have the Ace of Cups. And we have the full Aries energy here. And we have the Five of Wands and the Five of Cups. Wow. I just feel like there was this, you know, I just feel like someone here is just feeling very foolish or that someone here is feeling like they got tricked basically. Because I do feel like also, Taurus, I do, I do feel like you did fall in love with this individual here. But I feel like you didn't really fall in love with them. I feel like you fell in love with the fantasy here that this person provided for you here. Because I do feel like there was a strong love bonding energy here. <coughs> Excuse me. The Empress, Libra Taurus. And also the Hermit. Yeah, I see you guys actually distancing yourself from this individual here and doing some self-work. I do feel like you guys are definitely leveling up or learning from this experience here and just moving on from this here. Actually out of self-love for yourself. Yeah, out of self-love for yourself here. So I feel like this is about self-care and just, you know, moving to a place where you guys are taking care of you, taking care of yourself here. Tell me about the Ace of Cups here. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Ace of Cups and the Four of Pentacles here. The Wheel of Fortune here and the Fool card. Yeah, I do feel like you guys are definitely pulling your love back here. Okay, I do feel like it, when you decide to separate from this individual here, I do feel like with the Five of Wands here and the Emperor here, I do feel like this person is going to be really pissed off. I feel like they're going to be pissed off because you figured out, you know, what they were doing. You figured out their game here. The Emperor, Aries Energy, the Five of Cups. The Why is the Five of Cups here? The Five of Cups. And also we have the Moon, Cancer, Pisces. The Empress. And also the Three of Wands here. The Hermit. And also we have the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Yeah, you're turning your back on this. I do feel like this person's biggest fear is coming true here. Also, because I do feel like this person fears abandonment here too. I could see why maybe this person just so quickly just, you know, it's kind of like sealed the deal here with you so that they could know that they have you and that, you know, perhaps, you know, that you won't leave. But I also feel like you saw this person's behavior here and I feel like you couldn't ignore it here and I feel like you did something about it here. Okay. So, Taurus. I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.